Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's October 8th right now, and Hurricane Milson is about less than 24 hours away. Uh, we were going to do this, a little unboxing of the mystery pins at Disney World, but we figured right now that's the last place we need to be with all the chaos going on. So we're in our community in Claremont. Uh, like I said, it's it's we're less than 24 hours away from Milton. Um, it's starting to get a little windy here, which I love, and cooler, uh, which often happens before a big storm. But we should be fine. We're in Claremont, like I said. Uh, we are the highest elevation in Clermont, uh, in the state of Florida. Uh, so we really, and it's very hilly here, so we don't have to worry too much about um, <laughs> flooding and that type of damage. We just have to worry about it. wind. And I think at this point, uh, they're downgrading it maybe when it hits central Florida to category three maybe a category two which is still extreme but it's nothing we haven't seen before so i think we should make you know we should make it out okay maybe a little bit loss of power anyway uh we are here today to unbox well to un i guess unbox these mystery pin character mugs uh these are quite expensive um they were 44 bucks even with a pass holder discount it's still pretty expensive so we were um we had a uh, food and wine gift card that we just we got for food and wine obviously but we ended up not really going back to food and wine so we had it on ourselves so we just used the gift card to purchase these so it felt like we got it for free but we really didn't we ended up paying for it in the end regardless so that's kind of like Disney math for you but uh, that's a good tip if you guys have those cards don't throw them out I mean we saved them for because we like to collect the events we go to. But you should save them anyway because every dollar counts. You might have $5 left on there, $4, $2, $0.50. You might have $50. You might have $90 like we did. So don't throw them away. And, you know, when you walk out of those festivals or events, hold on to them because you never know. Because you can use them for the most part outside of those events. Except for, like, third-party places, you can pretty much use them. Uh, so we use them at Hollywood Studios. We picked these up at Hollywood Studios. Um, these have these are character mugs, and I thought they were cute. They had Chip and Dale on it. A anything with Chip and Dale, we go for, uh, even if it's a mystery pin collection, because we like the thrill of the hunt of getting Chip and Dale. And we use the others for traders, or um, you know, sometimes it's cool to complete a set. So the reason why they're so expensive is that there's five pins in each pack. Uh, and in the pack, which I, I'm going to try and show you up close, uh, we have Pinocchio, I see Powerline, I see Minnie Mouse, not Mickey, I see Chip and Dale, obviously, um, Tressara Cat, um, Simba, Bambi, and there's some cats and dogs from movies that were before my time, I don't really know, I know one of these or two of these from Lady and the Tramp, I'm not even sure if that's their names, that's how much I haven't even paid attention to those uh, characters and I know there's some I forget the name of the white cat she's in there stitches in here anyway maybe some from from Robin Hood I think I'm I don't know the names but we're gonna uh, unbox these I bought three of them like I said there's five uh, in each pack there's three six nine twelve there's 15 pins total the fact that uh, probability we're going to complete this set is probably none um, and the probability of getting duplicates is high but I just want to open to see if we get Chip and Dale. I'd be happy with Powerline and Simba and Stitch too as well you know and Pinocchio Pinocchio I've never had a Pinocchio pin but you know I'd be satisfied with anything because uh, like it nothing goes to waste the rest are used for traders and stuff like that so without further ado let's open these packages and see what we get I forgot to bring my, pin, my my little pin board with me, um, but I will display them all at the end and show you uh, fully what we got. Oh, our first one that we got is, I don't know if you can see it, is Minnie Mouse. Okay, I'm not a big collector of Minnie. In fact, we don't collect Minnie or Mickey at all. Thank God. Otherwise, that'd be another big expense. Oh, yes. One of the two I wanted, Dale. How awesome is Dale? He looks so cute, perfect, excellent, very cool. Um, 
Next up, oh, next up, which which came out the box with Dale, is Chip. All right, right off the bat, we got what we wanted. Very cool. No duplicates so far. Obviously, I don't think they're going to be a duplicate in one uh, bag, but very cool. All right, so we have two more in this bag. It's getting windy here, guys, but I love windy weather. Oh, we have this little guy. Hold on, everything's blown away. We have this guy, which I think is from some type of version of Disney Robin Hood, perhaps. Uh, there's a couple guys that I need help, characters I need help with. So if you know who these guys are, comment down below. I don't know this guy, but that's pretty cool. We'll use him as a trader. And our last pin in this set. Oh, God. Um, who is that? Um, I really feel bad because I feel like I almost know where this guy's from, but I don't know who he is. Focus up here. So I don't know who he is. Can anyone comment down below? Is some type of snake? So I don't know. So, all right, very cool. So I'm gonna put some mail together. Put mini. And I will show you what we have at the end. All right, second bag. Let's do this, guys. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, oh, awesome, very cool. So besides Chippendale, this is also one that I wanted to get. This is Powerline, this is very cool. I know a good friend that might want this. So I'm gonna reach out and see if he wants that. Very cool, Powerline, that's awesome. I believe that's from the Goof Troop movie. I'm not exactly sure. Don't kill me guys on that. Oh, very cool. Pinocchio, this is our first Pinocchio pin ever. Uh, we usually collect Halloween and Christmas, Epcot, Chippendale. Or any events that we go to so we don't really collect pinocchio but it is a cool looking pin i like the colors very cool all right so far so good oh nice classic this one i know so you don't guys have to come after me for this one we got bambi very cool i like the way this pin looks this is our first bambi pin as well very cool Oh, okay. So two came out. Let me put that there so it doesn't blow away. Two came out. Uh, we got our first doubles uh, or duplicates. Here we go. We got mini, which is pretty cool. That gives me two mini because I, I don't collect mini. So mini is going to be a trader. So that's cool. And we got chip. Pretty cool. So that's cool. I don't mind an extra chip. All right, our last bag, let's do this. Oh, a mini pin. Okay, all right. So we got our, let me put the duplicates together like this. Okay. Not bad. Listen, I'm not fretting over that because we got what we wanted already. Oh, okay. Here's the cat from Aristocats. I just don't know her name. Uh, again, comment down below if you know her name. I don't collect. Never watched the movie, but I know enough to know she's from that movie, I think, Aristocats. Okay, very cool. Oh. We got another Bambi. Okay, moving on. Another Bambi. I'll put the duplicates over here. Oh, and we got another Pinocchio. Another Pinocchio. And that's the last pin. In, oh, it's not the last pin in the set. One fell. So we got another Pinocchio. Let me put the doubles here. The duplicates. The dupes. Oh, and we got another power line. Which is not so bad. I know a lot of people who collect Goof Troop and Powerline stuff, so that's cool. All right, so I'm about to show you the lay of the land here. These are all our pins. We were able to get the ones we wanted. We did not get Cheshire Cat, Stitch, Simba, uh, and some of the other pins. Uh, Mr. Toad, I think, Lady and the Tramp. 
Uh, but there's extra mini Bambi Pinocchio. Uh, if you guys are looking at this set that I have and these pins, uh, and you would like to trade, or you would like a pin, uh, except for Chippendale and Paraline, I'm going to part ways. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today for this little quick unboxing of these mug pins. Uh, if you're in Florida and you're watching this, I uh, hope you stay safe and I hope the storm doesn't hit you too much. Oh, good Lord, what is that? Oh, there's a fire engine coming by. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. Stay safe, guys, and we'll see you soon.